I think it's a different one. It's more of a parable, I think. <laughs> uh, so the uh, the uh, neighbors come to visit the old man at his homestead, and they see his uh, his son out back riding the horse. And like really great equestrian stuff going on, just you know, beautiful lines and jumps or whatever. And they say, Oh, you know, like how lucky you are, such a you know, such a talented boy to be in your family and to you know uh, bring honor to you and you know, be so healthy and I don't know, just great. And the old man says, Who can say? A couple of days later, the townspeople come back to the uh, uh, homestead and he's fallen off the horse, broken his leg. Oh my God, it's such terrible news. That's your only uh, son and, and now he's injured and he can't ride the horse and now the horse won't stay exercised. And also, by the way, it's a little embarrassing and shameful that he fell and he's supposed to be good. You know, so maybe that little shame on your family there at its end. The whole thing's pretty horrible. Old man says, who can say? Next day, the villagers come back to the homestead. Um, the uh, attachment, detachment from the armor, uh, the army has come to town and conscripted all the males between this and that age. They're going off to war. Probably many of them never to be seen again. Mm -hmm. Some of them are going to come home not the same or not fully whole. And, oh, how unlucky that your boy happened to break his leg. Or, or sorry, how lucky that your boy has broken his leg. I mean, what an amazing, lucky coincidence to have a broken leg because obviously broken leg is not the worst problem. A few, I don't know, a few months, you'd be okay. But meanwhile, all our sons are off to war and we're all fretting and crying and wailing. And the old man says, who can say? A few months later, every single one of the men in the town that were conscripted returned to town <coughs> with medals and uh, uh, the spoils of war, you know, gold or whatever, I don't know. They're celebrating, there's a parade and cheering and they're all having this great honor. Oh, how terrible that your son couldn't have gone to war. You know, what an unlucky situation. I mean, look how great it's turned out for all our less talented boys. Who can say? So you should get the idea now that I can keep the story going mm -hmm. forever and it's just gonna keep. How terrible, how lucky, how terrible, how lucky. But the old man doesn't change. Right. <clears throat> So the point is that it's neither good or bad news, it's just news. And the old man is just even, because the old man has the force for the trees idea. Like I know today is a hard day, he broke his leg, he's in pain, I have to find a doctor, I have to help get him into the house. You know, of course it's difficult or a challenge, but I don't know if this is good or bad news. I mean. I just know when we look at it from different levels, it could seem good, it can seem bad. And probably right now, it seems bad. Similarly, another bit of noise, it could seem really good. But even in the beginning, oh, what a wonderful, athletic, talented, special young man with a great skill. Even then, that would be an easy one for most people. Like, yeah, I agree. I'm so proud. Aren't we lucky? Isn't it fantastic? And even then, he doesn't take the bait. <coughs> and he doesn't know I'm about to tell a whole story at the time, right? He's just like, who can say? So uh, the reason I was telling you that is that, like, uh, I, I'm not sure how much time has gone by. I don't know if that's good or bad. Right. Who can say? Right. You know? What we can say is it's not uncommon. It's a pretty right. common thing. And maybe it's interesting, you know, it's good or bad. Yeah. If it was bad, I'd tell you, <laughs> you know, <laughs> if you're enjoying it, sure, you can enjoy it. I'm not saying the old man was just, you know, right. uh, an android, right. <clears throat> you know, I'm sure he was in pain and his son was in pain and he was, you know, delighted that he was healing or, you know, like I'm sure he's, you know, human being, right? 
So if you're enjoying, it's fine. Occasionally, when we're meditating, <coughs> um, I will, uh, at the end, I'll ask people how long and take a poll. And usually, it quite often, it pretty well varies. And then I'll tell them the number from my clock. And, you know, usually half the people <laughs> thought it, it, no way it took that long. <laughs> and other people thought that they took three times that long or whatever. It's just curious. So you're you're absolved from discovering meaning if <laughs> if you like. <laughs> uh, 